So oh. BJ has a question. Does anyone back up their 365 environment? If so, how often are you backing up? PST files, baby. All the way. <laughs> Don't go there, man. Don't go there. I have that is not okay. Not okay. <laughs> I just I print everything. I print everything. Uh, and that's how you back it up, right? Yeah, that's right. Right. Um, I would say yes. People do back up their M365 environments. Yes. Uh, and there are a variety of tools that can help you do that. Um, and I think everyone on this call, I see all the heads nodding. Yes, you should be backing up your environment. Why did you make that face, Christian? Well, what disagree? are the comments that people, as they say, well, well, don't we automatically get that? Aren't things backed up in, in Azure? Isn't Microsoft no. already doing that for us? No. That's like the most common question. And you even get this level of confusion coming from Microsoft salespeople that are telling customers that. It's really funny how they were, how dispassionate they were about third party backup solutions, granular backup, until they made an investment in a backup <laughs> solution. And then suddenly uh, everybody needs third party backup. Exactly. Yes. I mean, that's uh, a true statement. It is, Great. it is, because I worked with Veeam early on when they were trying to come up with their mailbox solution, and Microsoft is like, you guys aren't touching this stuff. You know, we're, we'll take care of it. We're going to we're gonna have a solution, and they never came up with one, right? Now, you still don't have a backup solution inside of M365. There's one rolling out. You get, oh, okay, so now we're getting NDA <laughs> information, okay? Um, but No, they publicly announced that. Yeah, they, know, they, it's, it's, I'm it's kidding, on the blog. Sure. I'm yeah. kidding, Sharon. Um, but I'm <laughs> what I'm the point I'm getting at is that how long has M365 been a product? Number one, and now they're just finally getting one. But yeah. number two is that they they initially started touting the recycle bin as a backup solution, Ooh. and they kept saying, "Hey, you got 30 days. You know, you get you, no. you delete something, you got 30 days to bring it back. There's your backup solution right there." Good, there's I a tell phrase, people history comment. is not backup. History is not backup. No yep. comment. Because I had in my consulting days, mere months ago, a client that also felt that the recycle bin was their backup. And we were doing a migration, not knowing that that's what they viewed, you know, the little thing with the trash can as that when you hit delete. So we get into the new environment, they're like, where's all of our backup? And we're like, you don't have backup. Oh, yeah, yeah, the recycle bin. Hmm. No, that's, that's. <laughs> That's not how that works. There's just this um, phrase that I recall from my childhood when you'd see somebody like, oh, I just, I threw that away accidentally. And, and it was like, oh, just go retrieve it. Nobody will see you pull it out. And as soon as they pull, go in the garbage and then you shout out really loud to embarrass them, scrounge. <laughs> <laughs> I worked for a company and of course you become the de facto IT person when there's nobody else there, right? He's like, my outlook yeah. is running really slow. I don't know why it's so slow. And I go and I said, I said, you've got 3000 emails in your deleted items. And I right clicked and hit delete. And he's like, no, that was his filing cabinet. He didn't want it in his <laughs> inbox. So he put it in the deleted items and he, he never yeah. like, and yeah, like that's your what it's just garbage Who does that? and i'll bet he had folders inside of his deleted folders he, no he oh, doesn't yeah. he didn't know how to create a folder i'm like oh let me show you how to create <laughs> folders and how you it's can organize your problem. mail this is a whole nother situation but it, it was like that slow-mo where the, you know the video slows down he's like no and he reads he's jumping across the desk at me and they had to go oh, retrieve it from the uh server but yeah well, what about the se you. second half of BJ's question? How often are you backing up? Every day. And don't say it depends. Every day. Depends. But it does That's depend. the answer. How often? How often do you want to have to go back and recreate everything you just did? What I don't understand is there should be really no question about this because, I mean, with the modern tools we have today, they either back up in, in the stream of data, which means they back up when something changes, yeah. okay? Or you're backing up like, Twice a day, uh, right. every day, Once a day, every yeah. other day. Yeah, it's as often as you're willing to pay for. I back up well, when the meter rises. When you're talking, when you're talking about deltas, though, because all you're doing is backing right. up deltas. So right. it's not like you're, you know, creating this huge archive of every mm -hmm. single time you back up. That's just not how. If it works. you know, just like log files, they're tiny. Yeah, it's it, it's not like it's not like uh -huh. the old days, if you will. I mean, it's it's a lot more efficient and a lot quicker than you know with everything yes. we've done now. So. 
I, I, I don't get the reasoning like, oh, I only do it once a week because I run out of space. I'm like, come on, really? <laughs> no, it's because people don't know because they've not been exposed to this the way we have. So, well, they're, um, they're you know, you know, tape. they're used to using tape, you know, yeah. you get a stick of tape in, <laughs> stick another yeah, tape yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, this is one of those where I say it, it depends it, uh, because if you're in a regulated oh, no. industry and having that granular control over the backups to be able to go and look up specific things because you do have to understand again what are the SLAs what are your actual requirements around backup and you want to back up and have to restore everything which can slow down this the it, you know slow down the the backup process as well as the restore process or right. can you be much more granular and say I want this specific site or these assets within that library? Don't get that confused so, with retention hold or litigation uh, because some people no, no, use. Pass. Don't get that. Confused. I was going to go there too. <laughs> Just a blanket, uh, no me, delete, so and simple. Safe. I've got an Outlook.com account. It has a 50 gig limit on it, and I'm consistently sitting at about 49 and a half. <laughs> so that means. Well, and that's partially due to the Come fact on, that there are, eight, <laughs> there are 8 billion different MVP uh, distribution lists, and I, I, I look at all of them. And, delete, uh, delete, delete, Distribution delete. lists, then you have, <laughs> there'll be a bunch of pictures, and then there'll be a reply that has the bunch of pictures, and then another reply on top of that. Auto that archive is pictures. your friend. And by the time yes. the last email <laughs> and the thread comes in, it's about two and a half, three megabytes in size. Yeah. So it's a matter of just going through the various distribution lists and peeling six, seven, eight months out of them, put them into a PSD file, then I'm happy again. So, Hal, you're saying you're a hoarder? Is that what you, you're getting at? At least there? he's a digital hoarder. It comes in handy. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of a quick explanation as to why. If you all have gotten your MVP renewal kits this year, that's the, that's the little white stone inside the bubble wrap. That's not what you've been getting for your whole life. You've been getting a thing with a, a plaque and an ID card and a little <clears throat> jewel for your stand and uh, and and a uh, and, and a lapel pin and a couple of you know stickers, a couple little other odds and ends. All of me, everything but the but the, the little glass thing the slider has gone away. Everything but the little glass. Right. Is well, so there's, there's first world problems, and then there's the little MVP complaints <laughs> within first world problems. That's what that. Well, that some is. of us would like to have some of the other stuff back. As well, it turns out, what, there is. What, how Christian just said that the other day. The fact that I can't add to the wall now. I, I know. Well, you actually can add to the wall if you do your own printing. Yeah. Correct. Right. <laughs> Go print it but and then you mount can't it. Can't add to the Pelton collection because they ain't making those. Except there is a logo. Yeah. There is the old MVP logo that caused Microsoft to, in 2005, have to go out and buy and manufacture a new one because the old one they did not own and could not control. I have this old logo. I can give you links to this old logo in all sorts of color sizes and shapes. So if you want. If you want, which I'm stickers, sure BJ would them. appreciate. If you want to answering his question about that, one. <laughs> if you want to, if you want a lapel pin, we can do that too. Yeah, that's right. It's the old logo, not the new one. They so can't how, control the old logo. How backs up often and for decades. <laughs> uh, well, let me put it this way: I have the original email from uh, from 1999 where where permission was granted to use it. I yeah. just I just dumped all my 2000 Office 2000 courseware. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have that? It's 23 years old. Yeah. Hard to let go of things sometimes. You need it. But you need it. to go back to BJ's question. Yes. <laughs> there was a back question. up. Oh. Yeah, there was a question <laughs> once once. Was um, there a question? <laughs> what question? <laughs> So unruly. Um, do not let Microsoft, the idea of a ticket to Microsoft, be what you think your backup is, because that won't go well for you. Um, that's not how that works either. Um, retention policies are not backup. So it's it's very different things. So BJ, yes, 100%. There are great backup tools out there. There's one coming soon. Don't know all the ins and outs of that yet, but highly recommend it's a very mature space 
So lots yes. of options out there. So well said, Christian. Do it. Just do it. <laughs>